hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to explain you regarding this uh, esp calculation okay so esp calculation for uh, transition piece okay supplier transition piece you can see this is the transition piece so what will be the pressure drop through this transition piece in this video i will, I will explain you this one so before i start this video i'd like to request you all guys if you still not subscribe my channel please do please do subscribing and uh, hit the bell icon as well so that uh, whenever i upload any video you will get the notification of my video so let us start now uh, first of all you can see i have prepared one excel sheet here okay so this is uh, the duct transition friction loss okay this is for the transition phase friction loss uh, calculation excel sheet so in this you can see here the first one is the tag number and the second column is uh, the description for the piece okay and uh, here you can see the width one and height one width one and height one is nothing but here you can see in this uh, this is uh, the ASRAE handbook okay this is uh, in this excel sheet i have taken this uh, transition piece from ASRAE handbook if you if i click here you can see this is the screenshot so i have taken from this uh, ASRAE handbook so i will explain you here you can see this is i am using uh, this ASRAE handbook uh, 2001 fundamental okay so here you can see ISRA SBSC 2001 fundamental handbook so in this uh, let us go to the last uh, topic which is uh, the pressure drop here pressure drop in the fitting so let me go to this uh, where is the fitting pressure drop here so go for, go for the look for the rectangular so uh, we are looking for this rectangular okay and in this we are looking for the transition piece which is a supplier transition piece okay so let's go to this uh, page number Page number page number thirty four point six three, two thousand one, fundamental handbook. Okay, so in this you can see this is the duct design and the fitting name is. Let me zoom here. The S fitting number is SR four dash one transition rectangular two side parallel symmetrical supplier system. So. How to start how to use this excel sheet uh, i will show you here width one and width one and height one first one uh, this is the width one and height one width one is nothing but uh, this side the the entering side this is from the fan so this is called this height one is given so here is the width one okay so and uh, next is your a1 so a1 is nothing but the area so if you can see here i have uh, multiplied these two to calculate the area okay a1 and similarly for the width zero width zero is nothing but the, this side the discharge um, side okay and height is for this portion only okay <coughs> and uh, here is again i got uh, the a1 ao okay multiply these two so you can get ao value and after that ao by a1 ao by ao by a1 is required just to get this value from this uh, chart table okay and uh, then angle is required so you can see here this is the angle given after that once uh, these two value will match so uh, wherever these two value will coincide 
so you can uh, found this value uh, you can call this value as a co co is nothing but the loss coefficient which is taken from SRA handbook table SRA table okay and this is the average velocity so average velocity is nothing but the v is, v is equal to flow divided by 1000 ao why because why multiply with 1000 because this is uh, velocity in meter per second and here is given in meter per second so, uh, so this is the uh, this is the formula okay and the velocity pressure so velocity pressure is nothing but the 0 0.0 pb is equal to 0 0.602 v square and then total pressure loss is nothing but delta pt co co is nothing but the loss loss coefficient and then velocity pressure so if you multiply these two you will get uh, the total pressure uh, pressure loss so let us uh, start uh, with one example so as you can see here uh, this is the this is one of the design drawings so in this i am going to take uh, one fcu so this is the mouthpiece and i am going to take this uh, ground floor it office fcu so you can see the duct size for this uh, portion this portion is here 800, 830 by 300 is uh, indicated by this uh, leader line okay and this duct size for this portion is here 577 75 by 300 so let us calculate for this uh, fcu the contracts and transition piece so let us open this excel sheet and here you can write transition piece and width one is nothing but you can found from here 880 by height one is uh, 300 so just type here 880 let me zoom this okay okay so here so 880 okay and then height is uh, 300 so here is already 300 just enter 300 and then uh, this excel uh, excel already calculate the area e1 so i already applied uh, uh, formula here in excel so it will calculate the automatic the e1 area for these two after that uh, width uh, 0 and height 0 this portion so this one you can see the 575 by 300 so here just enter 575 575 and here is 300 okay once you enter this value you will get the eo here if you click this you can see here the formula already applied to this uh, excel okay excel program after that this uh, eo by a1 is required so you can see here if you click here you can see h4 by e4 h4 is nothing but uh, h4 is nothing but this is the h4 here ao okay so this one h h column and uh, 4 is the row so this value and divided by e4 e4 is nothing but uh, this column e column and uh, this 4 row so this value okay so i got here 0 0.653 okay 0 0.653 and angle is nothing but this angle so you can measure the angle here so you can see here angle is already given which is 95 degree so just enter here 95 okay then airflow so airflow you can found from this uh, table so this is the uh, it office ground floor so go to this uh, schedule okay and you can see here the ground floor it office uh, the airflow is uh, 1243 40 cfm cubic feet per minute so you have to convert this uh, into liter per second because we required here in liter per second so to convert this into liter per second 1240 you have to divide with uh, 2.119 so you will get in liter per second so i am i got it here uh, 563 you can let's say 564 okay 564 liter per second okay and this loss coefficient you can found uh, using these two value theta and uh, 
theta and uh, this u by a1 i will found uh, i will get uh, uh, let me delete this okay and i will go to this sra table okay here and first value a o by a1 so a o by a1 is nothing but uh, 0 0.653 so here a o by a1 so this column is required so a o by a1 is nothing but 0 0.65 so you have to select the here you can see the nearest value 0 0.5 and 1 is given so you can select the nearest value so i am going to select 0 0.5 and theta is nothing but the 95 so i'm going to select 90 which is the nearest one so if you take this line this side and this line is this side i will got here the co you can see this is the co value so co i got here 0 0.14 so just enter here 0 0.14 once you enter this you will get here the total pressure drop 0 0.9 pascal so just uh, take the screenshot for this uh, table so let me take a screenshot okay let me take a screenshot and then i will copy this copy and then go to this excel program just uh, paste it here control v okay it's done now okay so it's done you can see here the for this uh, example i will got uh, the pressure drop here 0 0.9 nine pascal similarly for uh, if there is another uh, transition piece you can continue the same so you can enter your serial number and similarly you can type your transition then width one height one then u2 y2 and then a o by a1 you can get from this table and the theta is here and from this table you can got uh, the c o value here and then after that uh, the excel program will automatically calculate the pressure drop so i hope you guys learn how to calculate the pressure drop uh, for transition pit so please be with me and keep watching my full video and if you are still not subscribe my channel please do subscribing and please like and share my video so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye